Hey there guys, Nearing here with another episode of Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Oh yeah, let's go up here. Whoa, everything's so smooth now. Like, it was really laggy before, but now it's like running so smooth. Like you can really make out the animations now. I think my problem with Soul Steel is my finger keeps slipping off of right before I press the button. Oh, it's because the color scheme changed to basic when I saved state, and now everything's running smoothly because arrow is no longer on. Maybe I should just keep arrow off. It seems to make everything I do lag. Ooh, book. It's a Bible of death. Now, when the Owl, Owl card is the only character in the series that I've seen, in the entirety of Castlevania that I've seen so far whose book acts like this. Everyone else's book unfolds in a series of whirling pages that slowly expands and fills the entire screen. But Alucard's acts as a protective shield similarly to Wade's. I th think the main character of Lament of Innocence's book also acts like that. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, these guys make the ghost noises. Jeez. Jeez. I got... a pentagram. I can't do full honky here. Haha, <laughs> it flew away into the skull, that's great. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Making that joke while playing this game is just perfect. Oh my god, I can't get over how much smoother it looks now. Oh my god. If this comes out like this in my recording quality, I'm going to be so happy. My god. I mean, the animations are just so awesome now. Like, I knew something seemed to miss when I started recording. So we'll go down, down, down to a burning ring of fire. Before anyone asks, I am quite aware that those are not the proper lyrics. But that's the lyrics everyone think the proper lyrics are. And it's a common joke, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Sorry, Johnny Cash fans. No, I want the book. Oh, are they shooting? You know, I thought I used to think those are rocks, but those are skulls. Die, Jesus. The next one will take a bit of an easier spell to take out of here. Get him! Spirity. Then I punch it in the face! Arrgh! Temporary loss of control, but the recording keeps going and it looks like nothing happened to you guys, so that's fine. The message about it going into... walking... My god, I rock them. Rock and roll. Critical! That was weird. I'm weird. Punch, 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 punch. I've always loved the fist weapons in the Castlevania games. Handguns are my favorite ranged weapons. Uh, Dawn of Sorrow has those. Punch here, punch there, punch, punch everywhere. Bam! Pow! Right in the kisser! Pow! Right in the kisser! Pow! Right in the kisser! Pow! Right in the candle! And the door opens, and we step on this. Open the door the other way. Off we go! Dash you! Whoa, that was cool. Now comes a rather confusing and bewildering part of the game. 
especially when I enter the wrong area. Uh, oh, the proper exit is up there, okay. Whoa! Jittered for a second there. So much smoother! Jeez. Jeez! There we go. Prepare yourself for a new area soon. Whoa, head pain. I get headaches because of the weather sometimes. It's really annoying. Pressure headaches due to pressure on my sinuses. Sucks. Sucks! Oh, wow, wow, wow. I love the wolf. <laughs> the trick is that the momentum from carrying you upstairs transfers into your jump and causes you to jump like that. That's cool. Save room. If you're ever low on MP or HP and need a quick heal, the save room does completely heal you. I forgot to mention that in an earlier episode. Apparently I didn't make it very clear, so you hold up while doing Hellfire to shoot the balls of dark fire. You hold down to do nothing, and you hold nothing to shoot the fireballs. I hope I've made that clear now. This area is quite a confusing place. These underwater caverns here. And... This is a boss. A really easy boss, though. It's the Scylla Worm. See, I soul steal once and it dies. This isn't the true boss, though. Ow. 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 Fuck. This hurts. A lot. Up here is the true boss. Gotta. You might notice the music stopped. That's normal, because there's a boss coming up. Gonna equip this potion here. Okay, I'm gonna use this potion. Now I'm gonna, yeah, potions take a while to take out. Now I'm going to equip this pentagram. Hi, Silver. Yeah, the Silver Worms are part of her. Let's get some damage off on the worms. So she can't do any shit to me anymore. Use this bastard. But the book is actually pretty strong. Just stop touching her. Whoa! Uh, what, what has my MP to I need a potion. And then I'll equip an attack potion. I'll hit triangle and I'll equip the gladius because I need range right now. And once the potion kicks in, I'll use the attack potion to let it kick in. Ugh. Offense up. Get in there and cut her up. The attack potion really helped. Now Scylla's done for. That fight can be annoying if you've not done it before, because it, it's a little confusing as to how you're supposed to hit her, and you don't know that those tentacles down there actually can't hurt you. So it's a pretty confusing fight. But all in all, it went okay. I should have waited until I could use Soul Steel again, but... Oh yeah, you, you get this from that fight, which is far, far superior to my current cloak. And it looks so sweet. Look at this. <laughs> Look how shiny and glistening -y this material is. It's all semi translucent and stuff. The K 
kicking animation gives you a wonderful look at what the cloak looks like. I love this cloak. It's a shame it's not the best one in the game, because it looks so cool. But you can't recreate this with Joseph's cloak, either. It's unique specifically to this one. Castlevania Pot Roast, and we move down here, and we get a much better weapon than the Gladius. By two points. We get the Scimitar, which is also, again, slightly longer. There isn't much sword variation in this here, in uh, this game, I'm afraid. That's for the later games, which I will also probably LP at some point. Especially the Dawn Gate, the Sorrow series, Dawn of Sorrow, and... Something of Sorrow. There's a breakable floor somewhere around here, but I don't think this one is it. No, it's not. I don't exactly remember why beating Scylla was necessary. Ah, my tooth. Wait! I think I remember now. Or do I? Let me go back and find out. Pull down, and down some more. Back to the room where the Scylla worm was. Hop, skip, and a jump. Just a hop, skip, jump. A hop, skip, and jump. Fuck. Okay, I was wrong. Never mind. False alarm, people. That's right. There's nothing here yet. I like that animation. This one's cool too. Back dash. So much faster than walking normally. Like Link's rolling. I love that joke in my first LP. Rolling is the main form of transportation in Hyrule. It truly is. Toadstool! Shitake! Not much up there of interest for us right now. Although we will have to go there because that's the way back up. Now if we push this over here, an interesting thing happens. This area filled with spear skeletons fills with water. And they drown! In fire! Underwater! No! My house burnt down! How did this happen? That's a very good question! So that's where I left my cigar. That just raises further questions! Grats if you get that reference, cause... That's a really early episode of Futurama. Yeah, I said it's Futurama, but if you haven't seen it, it doesn't spoil the reference, because you don't know what episode I'm talking about, you don't know what happened. Who are you, people? Yeah, not going down there yet. Ah, uh, screen blocked out again. This is an interesting little thing here. Punch, punch, punch. So many frog punchings. I only got enough punches for a day, dude. Cut. Yeah, you don't have enough health to survive game that pentagram without the proper <coughs> materials. Aw, oh, I missed them. Oh well. Die, frozen shade. Yay, HP up. Hidden behind the waterfall. We're going to take quite a bit of damage here now. Ow. Punch. Punch. There is ice there, yes, but... You can't do shit with it. It'll break the moment you step on it. It's just there purely for the effect, I'm afraid. Cool effect, though. 
up here, grab this shiitake as well. The toadstools will hurt you, but the shiitake are perfectly safe. This is the wrong way. That leads back up there. We don't want to go up there yet. We want to go across here. I'll take you to a place which might be interesting for you. <laughs> Yay, ferryman. Punch. Punch. 250. Not bad. Punch bat faces. Splish. Oh, I can't reach that one. That one up there is a huge bag of money. We're out of We're so regal. Badass. Shoulders are invisible. Look at them. I mean, don't look at them because they're invisible, but... And the Merman statue. This relic summons the oarsman. Now, if you haven't played this game before, you might be wondering, what the fuck does that mean? We'll find out. Kicking a bat in the face this time. Whoa, dropped out while I was jumped. That was weird. No. My money. Fuck, I'm getting destroyed by a bat. Yeah, I made it. Now, we don't have any way to ascend vertical shafts quickly. Or at all. So we have to go around to get back there. First we break this, which we can't break. First we grab this life max up, then... We step on that. It opens this gate back up. Which brings us back here in all places. Oy vey. Now, what we want to do next is... There's an area up to the left that looks like a staircase that we haven't gone up yet. It comes across to where we couldn't get across before from the hall. What we want to do is we want to go up that staircase area and go around there and pick up the leap stone, which lets you do a double jump, because that is very useful and that's what we're going to be doing next. I'll show you the merman statue after. But for now, we're going to have to end this episode off here. So, this has been an earring with Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Bye!